Hey YouTube, what is going on, man? So, um, as you guys can see by the title, man, some shit went down. Um, I'm not even gonna sit here in front with you guys. I'm a little pissed off. Like, I'm actually like, I'm, I'm heated, man. You know what I mean? Like, this shit is crazy. So, as you guys know, by the title, man, um, about an hour ago, I literally just woke up from a nap right now, man. I get a text from one of my friend, YouTube friends, telling me that Michael Condry, the head of the game we're currently playing right now, Call of Duty World War II, he left. He's gone, bro. So is Glenn Schofield, the other leader. Um, apparently, they, they both bounced, bro. They left us hanging to dry. Um, I don't even really know what to say. That's just like, it really, like, I'm really mad right now, man. Um, you know, he hasn't tweeted in about a month. Um, a lot of things we've been complaining about, like, I just, they haven't addressed, you know. Um, and they just leave, bro. Like, I don't even really know what to say, because at this point, it's just, it's just BS to me, man. Like, you just completely, you just bounce. Leave us hanging, man. Leave us to dry. So now, there's a new developer. I'll basically just break down the story real quick, man. So, Basically, it says Michael Condry and Glenn Schofield have left Sledgehammer, now executives at Activision. So they still work for Activision, but they completely left Call of Duty hanging, man. Um, this is the statement from both of them as well, too. So this is Schofield's statement. He said, Michael and I have been collaborating for over 12 years. In that time, we've made great games that fans loved, won awards on behalf of our products, and have lived our dreams. We thank Activision for the wonderful opportunity to create and lead Sledgehammer games. Now it's time to try other things. Activision has offered me the opportunity to focus on my energy on something I'm very passionate about, exploring new ideas for the company. That's something I just couldn't pass up. Working with such a great studio on Sledgehammer Games has been an honor and a highlight of my career. My team isn't great. Apparently, there's a guy, a new guy at the head of Sledgehammer named Aaron Holland. Um, I believe his name. Um, he's the new like leader of the company. Um, Michael Condry's statement. He said we found we found Sledgehammer Games to bring together. A world-class development team with the singular goal of delivering excellence for our fans. Of course, of nearly a decade, Glenn and I per, per, proudly grew the studio and watched... I don't even want to read this bullshit. Like, this is just... Come on, bro. Like, at the height of the game, with all this excitement over the last three years, coming back to boots on the ground. Mid-Call of Duty cycle, chat. Mid-Call of Duty cycle. They, they leave, bro. Like, they leave, man. No explanation. They just say, oh, you know, we're, we're proud and stuff like that, da, da, da. Um, and I've, I've shared some words on with Michael Condry on Twitter, man. Um, that shit, I don't, what, what do y'all think, bro? Is that cowardly? Like, the fact that they just bounce like that, man? Um, you know, they haven't tweeted in a month, man. With Fortnite being so popular, I feel like they just couldn't take the, I feel like the mainly, the main thing was they just couldn't compete. Like, they just couldn't take all of the criticism that they deserve. Um, I think they understood they, after creating a game for three years, they completely missed the ball of, like, what, what a lot of things that Call of Duty was, man. Um, one main thing in, the, in World War II is just the perk system. Like, it just, it completely missed the ball with that one. I'm just gonna run through a couple things that really make me mad. Um, the supply drop system is old to me. Um, it's really, really old, man. Um, they need to throw that out, bro. Like, they, they need to get, I mean, they, they make a sh they make, I'm gonna tell you right now, they make a lot of money with it, man. But, like, it's just, why can't they have a system where I can, like, like, Fortnite, bro, with the skins. I, like, I know what I'm buying, bro. Like, I'll pay... Bro, I'll pay like 10 bucks to get a gun. Like, I'll pay 20 bucks to get a skin. Like, it, there's no need to open supply. Like, I don't know, man. That shit is really frustrating, bro. Um, you know, the maps are bad. Uh, they didn't, they couldn't get the weapon balancing right. The pros constantly complain about them. The maps were iffy. They never fixed the sprint out times. You know, I'm just going to literally stop, bro, before I go on like a massive ass rant, dude. I just couldn't believe that they... Yo, they actually bounce on us man so i'm still gonna make content on world war ii because it's call of duty man at the end of the day i love it but this shit uh, they better be if they, if they leave activism like that they better work better be working on some battle royale game or some shit because they completely just left the community bro now we're left with just kind of just chilling man um i don't know bro what i'm gonna do now i'm still like i said i'm still gonna be uploading call of duty world war ii um i don't even know who to answer to now if we have problems I just, I don't know, man. Like, this is mad crazy. The link to the article will be in the description, guys. Like, I have to go play, like, a basketball game, like, 30, I have to leave in, like, 30 minutes, 45 minutes, man. But I'm sitting here doing a commentary on this, on this shit, bro. Like, I don't know. I just, I literally can't even imagine. I've This has never happened, bro. Like, I've never seen, in mid-life cycle of a game, developers legit bounce. That's crazy, bro.
Like, let me let me let me know your strong opinions on this, guys, and also tell me, bro, how do y'all feel about World War Two? Like, this shit wasn't a, it wasn't a terrible game, but they just didn't give the, the, the attention, the updates it needed and it deserved. They didn't constantly update the game, bro. They just bounced like that. Like they left. They just that's like kind of like a spit in the face to a lot of Call of Duty like long term players, even players who are still playing the game, bro. Us content creators, cause you know the things we want and stuff like that, like, bro. Bring in David Vonderhaar. Just let my man David roll in. Uh, let him just take over the entire Call of Duty franchise, man. Let him just run that joint, and uh, and we'll be fine, man. But for right now, pretty pissed off. Um, I went. To, I was gonna. I posted a video today. I was gonna make a commentary, but man, this this it got me really mad, bro. Just bring in my David Vonderhaar. Let him run the helm. Um, let him run things over at uh, you know Activision, the Call of Duty side. But um, yeah, they did. <laughs> I just had to tell you. I I usually don't even do videos like this where I can like come on. You know, do a topic, speak about something in the news or something. You know, I, I just play games. I give you two rockets. But this is something that I literally have to address because this is the head of the game I'm playing, bro. The two main leaders, bro, that I tweet for for when we need stuff, boomy bop, it comes. But they bounce, yo. They're, they're gone. They're not they're not messing with World War II anymore. Um, hopefully, this translates into somebody who can actually help develop the game. Hope they can... um. The new guy who's in charge of Aaron, I really hope that you can really listen to the community, really change things uh, fastly too as well, man. I'll bring the other that we actually deserve because Michael, my man, just they just didn't get it done, bro. I, I just be honest, man. It's like four months into the game and they never addressed things that were actually needed, bro. It was just constantly just double XP weekends, double weapon XP, you know. New DLC maps that weren't any, war. You gave war like eight maps and you gave multiplayer like two, like. So hopefully, man, this heads into the right direction, man, because I cannot believe this actually happened. I woke up from a nap. I look, I couldn't believe it. Like, I literally looked at my phone, and I couldn't believe it. They they binked on us, bro. They said, he, they, David did this, or not David, I'm sorry. Michael did this skirt and was just gone. So what's going on? Going on? I don't even know, bro. You don't even tell you, bro. Get up out of here, man. Um, But yeah, bro. So let me know what you guys think, guys. This is something I had to share because I don't think any, anybody's uploaded a video on it, but... This is something I had to do a commentary on, man, because this shit is wild. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you guys drop a like, subscribe if you guys are brand new to the channel. Like I said, man, I will be uploading. I still will be uploading, bro. World War II Call of Duty content, but I literally am so confused right now. I don't know what to do, bro. Anyways, guys, I'll see you guys later. Stay up, stay blessed. I'm out, dogs. Have a good one, ladies and gentlemen. Enjoy this V2 rocket. Better pay attention, bro. He almost killed me. So did he. I think they're all back here. I needed that. Damn, dude. Oh, I'm dead. Yeah, there's just too many. Might need a little help, Zay. There's just too many. Oh my god. I literally have no idea how I got out of that. He's down there. Oh my god, what just happened? Oh my god, I gotta throw on a suppressor. Too much is happening right now. It's over for me, Zay. Oh my god. They flipped. 
Wait, there's still a guy back there though. Got that guy? He almost throwing knife me. Whoa. Zay, I got the V2. I'm lagging. Oh my god. Oh. He's in the gob, your bitch, she a thot, trying to take off her top. Ooh, my brother just burned out the lot, had to go cop a phone just to drop at the top. Ooh, I gotta watch for the ops, put a drum on a Glock, that's a whole hundred shots. Yeah. Niggas won't beef with the gang, hey. on the web, a whole time they be telling the cops. I'm up in traffic, you know that my pistol be clapping, run up, you think it